I am not a meteorologist. I am a learned uh, road weather expert at this point um, on how the impacts of weather affect the roadways. At Booz Island, we have like 25,000 people and we, we basically only contract out to the government. I was working for a, um, an ITS, Intelligent Transportation System engineering firm, and we got a job to build Claris. And Claris is a, um, I don't, it, it now is called the Weather Data Environment, and it brings in observations from environmental sensor stations around the country from DOTs. And it does quality checking on them. And I was the project manager of that project. And now I actually play the role of the technical assistance uh, to the road weather management program at FHWA. I am responsible for assisting the, the FHWA Federal Highway Administration personnel in reviewing documentation, um, testing out the systems that are being built. We have started working with the National Weather Service and DOTs to try to get impact messages out to the traveling public based on the DOTs talking and the National Weather Service talking to come up with joint messages about the impacts to the roadways. What we have done is put together the Pathfinder Project where the National Weather Service and the DOTs are talking to each other before, during, and after a storm. I go out and I help train people like on the Pathfinder project. I work with the projects team, I work with the state DOTs along with FHWA to help make sure that these projects are successful. They're coming out with the EVs, the electric vehicles, and also the ones with the ADS, automated vehicles. And there's going to have to be algorithms written in there to um, address weather. Another thing that um, drones have a place in, in weather, number one, they can do different kind of inspections. They can do flyovers to see how much something is flooded. Um, they also are an excellent way to communicate to the public what's actually going on. So the skill sets that I end up using are you, you've got to be able to manage a project, telling different people what to do in terms of you focus on this or you focus on this or you put out this messaging or you get this tweet ready or whatever. Um, you need to know some form of systems engineering, which includes development, code development. You have to be able to communicate. You have to be able to get up and speak in front of an audience. You have to answer questions off the fly. And one of the biggest things is you have to be a team player. The weather is not a vacuum. There's all kinds of documentation on the Road Weather Management Program's website that they could go and learn without ever taking a class. Um, the fundamentals they can get. And, you know, and I, my guess is, is that is true across a whole bunch of other industries that the information is there. Don't just, uh, don't just limit themselves to what the professors teach. Go and look for something that might be creative that they would enjoy.